Following Mayor Regina Romero and the Tucson City Council's official heat protectant ordinance to keep workers safe from extreme temperatures, President Joe Biden announcing his own plan to protect workers at the national level. News for Tucson's Isabella Fredrickson has the latest. The CDC says that over 1,200 people a year die from heat-related situations. And that's why the president says that he wants to help protect workers and families from extreme heat across the country. Today, President Biden announced new actions to protect workers and families across the country. These new plans include a heat and health tool launched by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It's the first of its kind called the Heat and Health Index, or HHI. It will provide heat health outcome information at the zip code level. This tool will be able to help communities, public officials, and medical outreach. In addition, the U.S. Department of Labor, Occupational Safety, and Health Administration is issuing a notice of proposed rulemaking for heat injury and illness prevention in both indoor and outdoor work settings. This standard will require employers to create a plan to evaluate heat risks in their workplace. News 4 Tucson spoke with a heat governance expert about the importance of this new announcement. So extreme heat is the number one weather-related killer in the United States, and those numbers are vastly underreported. We know that, and um, the same is true with those heat-related injuries and deaths in the workplace. And so more attention to protect our workers will, um, of course, keep them safe in the workplace, but also strengthen our economy, right, if we can keep them all safe. There are currently seven stages of engagement in the rulemaking process. Reporting from Midtown, Isabella Fredrickson, News 4, Tucson. Well,